I'm Dr. Gray Cantor here at Cantor Dental Group in San Rafael, California. Today I want to talk about implant retained dentures. Uh, this is when you lose all your teeth and you have a denture on top and on bottom, but the bottom ones just don't seem to fit very well, which by the way is very common. You're not alone. Uh, bottom dentures just, they never fit as well. They, uh, they have much less surface area to rest on. On the top, you have your whole palate to get a nice suction cupping effect. But on the bottom, our tongue's in the way. So you really, bottom dentures can just be a bother and make it very hard to chew. So uh, one way to fix that is with implants, as you see behind me. There are two different types of dentures. Ones that you take in and out at night, and another that stays in and is fixed into place. Today I want to talk about the ones that you take in and out at night. There are two types of that as well. Those are ones that are, don't have a bar and ones that do have a bar. Let me show you some examples. As you can see, uh, there are two different locator attachments that connect to the bottom of the denture. And this snaps into place and is very sturdy and a great way to do it. However, you can get even stronger another way, which is a bar. A bar wraps around, connects all the implants together, giving you a rigid support, allowing to, you to chew those harder materials and gives you a lot more of your chewing back, almost 60%. One thing to note is that you noticed me, it was pretty hard for me to pull these off. With all of these types of dentures, we're able to choose the rubber grommets inside uh, allowing us to choose the amount of force required to put them off and on. Depending on your dexterity with your fingers, uh, we'll choose the correct rubber grommet to make it easy to, to come in and out, but also strong enough to allow you to chew on whatever you like. Another question I get all the time is, how long do these treatments take? Well, depending on if you're a candidate, these treatments can be done in as little as one day. However, not everyone is a candidate for that, but there's always the possibility you'd have to come in to find out if you're a candidate for single day treatment. If you aren't a candidate for single day treatment, it'll take about three months for the treatment to um, move along. Once we put the implants in, you'll need three months healing time before we can attach it to the denture. So if you're looking to get your lower denture to hold into place a lot better, definitely come to us here at Cantor Dental Group and we'll help you chew to a better future.